the Bears. You're part of the Astro gang? Nah. I don't I don't know. Astros aren't that bad. I can't even explain to you the sound quality that the Razor Threshers have. It is unlike any other headset that I've ever had in my entire life. Amanda! Hey girl! Hey girl! Hey, 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 hey. I'm back, B. This game would give me anxiety. And, and like you have to push all the buttons really fast and just, uh. Hello, Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Kaya, I've Say been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? I can't make quick decisions. Yeah, that's why I paused because I had to like think for a second because I had two options. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. I agree. I may not be suited for this investigation. Maybe you should consider replacing me. Did you manage to learn anything? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with Lieutenant developing? He seems to find it difficult when a Connor is destroyed and replaced. I know humans have difficulty dealing with loss. Working with him will be a challenge if it happens again. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. This rain's making me sleepy. I wish in. it was raining where I'm at right now. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Lieutenant Anderson! <laughs> Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. Yeah, we know the dog's name. Too. See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner.
one bullet remaining. Oh my god. Lieutenant. He's a freaking gun. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <laughs> it's me, Come Someone on, wake me up like that. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn me. Me alone, this fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sumo! Attack! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not what are you I doing? Don't like you. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. What are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. I won. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. They Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Mm, streaky. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. Clearly, a new escalation in the conflict. Many experts are suggesting the specter of a third world war draws closer every day.
What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Street. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Sumo, the best character. Us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the cyber warehouse. Ugh, That's where they keep die. the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. I kill people way too easily in this game. <laughs> Let's go, baby Marcus. My baby. Avoid the drone. Don't let them see us. Find another way. Glad it's not making me push other things. Cyber Life warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Thank you. 
You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. North likes me. <laughs> Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. I can't move. Uh, I can't move. I'm stuck. You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! Oh, he's alerting them. I need your help. John! Let's finish up and get out of here. We'll try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back. It's too dangerous. Uh, if I accept it and... He'll note he might notify all of the people, but if I refuse Do I accept him or do I refuse him? Hi religious demon, how's it going? Choose wisely. John, frick you. He comes with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. 
We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. It's not worth the risk. We have what we need. We can go over the fence. It's the quickest way out. Okay, then. Let's go. We have blue blood and bio components. There will be enough for everyone. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Somebody's playing. This is gonna be at a sex club, but it's fine because it's in a movie. I mean, it's in a video game, right? I mean, this is like a, an okayed game by Twitch. Yes. And with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? Kids look away. It's the address in the report. Yeah, this is... Okay. Let's get going. Jesus. I mean, hey, if girls can sit there with their boobs out body painting them, I'm pretty sure I can show that. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh, boy. Welcome to Which I don't agree with, by the way. I don't understand why girls are allowed to be topless on Twitch and painting their bodies. I think it's dumb. You're not going to take my license, are you? The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? Don't agree with what? It's that room there. 
forward. I mean, I personally just don't Gavin's think there, girls too. should be allowed to be oh, topless great. on stream. Dead body in an asshole, themselves. just what I need. Topless girls on Twitch, what? Yeah, like, pe like there are people who will, like, body Connor, me. the fuck are you doing? And they'll say Coming, you Lieutenant. shouldn't tell people, like, like, you, you should be okay with people loving their bodies, which I do. But that's not Lieutenant the same Anderson thing. Lieutenant Anderson is plastic. Pet. You can love the your bodies, you but I just don't. We've been assigned all cases involving androids. I just don't agree oh, yeah? that it's okay to. Like wasting your time. Just have your boobs out. Some pervert who uh, like, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> I feel like that's. We'll much. have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's uh I'm starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. Yeah, no, it's, and like that's the thing is that that's that's the the argument that all girls like who like do choose to do that. That's the argument that they make. They make the argument that like people are body shaming them, and it's like, no, you have a great body. No one's body shaming you. It's the fact that like, yeah, I don't want to get into this. <laughs> You guys know what I mean. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Analyzing it, that's how he analyzes things. Yeah, it's, it, it really is just inappropriate. It doesn't matter if you love your body or not, that's inappropriate. Best not to get into it too much. Their feelings hurt. Well, my dog is deceased. <laughs> He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. I did. Didn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. Just hope it's long enough to learn something. I reactivated you. Everything is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. I... Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. What else do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't... I don't know. Are you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. Where did the other android go? Did it say anything? Hey. So there was another android. This happened That's over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed Those two like actors that. Are married in real life. Really? It might still be here. That's awesome. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. 
I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much. Please, now, no come in, Please do their business, and then go on their way. You ever had any trouble with androids before? No way. Lost Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Not gonna look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Eden Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Is that all I needed to see? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Let's try this one. This better be worth it. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. direction it took. I just need to find... No. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. I'm all ears.
lost its track again. Wait, we've already Nothing. This guy, this guy, this Blue haired Tracy didn't guy. come this way. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Too late. Look at them. They get used to... They break and then they get tossed out.
Wait, he's married. This character, like this uh, actor, is married to the actress of the blue hair. People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Beats me. He's married to the girl who was shut down earlier? Monkey, are you like 12? Maybe 9? Come on, Connor. We're leaving. Yes. How do I do that? How do I search for blue blood trail? Is there anything else I need to do? I'm coming. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. Kendra Singh, thank you so much for the two months. And so I put my hands around his throat, and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. 
make me forget about the humans, their smell of sweat, and their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Probably better this way. Good things Lako had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Capture you guard using? Overheard androids Lako captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol.
We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Clip it. <laughs> I already said it. You're not for real. I'll make the fire here. Okay, well then I'm not gonna that say it again. Be smoked out. I swear to God. You should never swear. <laughs> You're hot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Ted. I was waiting for someone to do that. My hot was. Be like them someday? I don't think we'll ever be like them, Alice. But maybe we 
can be happy in a different way. In our own way. Once we cross the border, we can start a new life. Hi, Logan. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Did you play Blackout? I think it's... Come on. Let's get you to bed. Get some rest. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Unicorn. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then, she met a robot who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together to try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Aaron, thank you for gifting five subs. I don't know. Thank you, thank you. But all stories have morals. Uh, G-Sainted, Waco, Danny, ours, we'll know what it really meant. Uh, Bloses, Malone, and then Reds. You guys, welcome to Time the to Electrolytes. Sleep. Thank you so much, We have much, another Aaron. long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, loser? Yes. Yes, of course. Waco, you got gifted a supper. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. It's 
still snowing? We have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? same person. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. Uh, we were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. Be our guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Regardless of whether or not we, no. Oh, 
Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there and then we'll continue part four next time.